Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to combine two really cool effects to create this rotating cylinder text effect. So I'm just working on a blank new composition, and the first thing I'm going to do is grab my text or type tool and write out whatever word you want. So I'll write out text, and although you don't have to do it this way, I'm also going to go to the drop down the text layer menu, go to transform, and rotate the text 90 degrees negative just so we have the text reading up and down and vertically because we're going to kind of flip it on its side in the next effect. So if you want to get your text back in the middle of the screen quickly, you can just go to the align panel in the right hand side and then just center it just like that. And if you want to change anything about the font or the size, you can do that all in the character panel. You can choose the size and the spacing and all of that. So once I have the text layer that I want set in place, then the first thing I want to do is add an effect called CC Repetile, and this is in the Stylized Video Effects folder. So what Repetile does is it just tiles and repeats the name being Repetile in every direction, however much you want. So for example, if I expand to the right, you'll see what happens, and this can be a cool text effect on its own. If I expand down and up, you can see what happens. Also, you can choose the way that it tiles. So right now it's just repeating, but if you drop down the tiling section, you can make it flip in different ways. So like checkerboard or unfolding symmetrically or just randomly unfolding. So you can get some cool abstract effects in this way, but I'm just gonna leave everything as default for now because we need to add one more effect on there. And that's the CC cylinder effect in the perspective folder. So if I add the CC cylinder effect, what this does is it turns this, it kind of maps this onto a cylinder 3D cone. So you see both of the effects here in the menu. And if I drop down the rotation in the effects control panel, I can choose to rotate this text in different ways. So we have the X rotation. You see it's kind of spinning around in 3D perspective. We have the Y rotation like that. And we also have the Z rotation. So I can flip the text back over on its legible side here, just 90 degrees to the right again, and you'll see why. And although this can be cool with just one text layer, just kind of like this spinning animation you could do with keyframes, what I'm going to actually do is use that CC Repetile effect to expand the text up and down. So since we had our text on its side, we're actually gonna use the right tool to go down, and we're gonna use the left tool to go up and we're basically just going to make the two points meet in the middle if you wanted to take more care in the spacing and sizing of your text so that it's perfectly symmetrical you could do that but just for this example i'm going to leave it at that and now we have this cool cylindrical text layer that we've made and just by using keyframes or expressions on the rotation wheels we can do cool animations like this or like this so for example, if I just add a keyframe on the Y rotation, move over like five seconds or however long you want, and add another keyframe after I spin it uh, a little bit. And if I play it, you'll see that the text is just kind of rotating in this cool wheel way. So this is the base of the effect, just combining these two cool effects. Um, but you do have some other options. You could still continue to add effects. Or if you highlighted your original text layer, which remember is in the middle there, you could change the color of the text to be something else. If I go to the stylized folder again and I add a glow effect onto that text, it's actually gonna give us slightly different results depending on the order of the effects. Remember, the effects control panel works in order. So if I was to put the repetile after the cylinder, we wouldn't even get the same effect. So the order matters. And depending on if I put the glow in the beginning, middle, or end, I would get a different effect for all of them. So in this case, the intensity and threshold of the glow is actually changing the way the repetile effect is working. And we're just getting a slightly different effect, but still really cool, could be a cool looping animation. But hopefully this tutorial has showed you just a brief look at these two cool effects, repetile and cylinder. If you enjoyed this video, check out the playlist on my channel for more and subscribe to stay tuned for all my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.